Learning to play Reptilia will teach you a metric poop ton about the guitar. It's almost unavoidable, but I'm not just going to show you how to play it. I'm going to show you all about the musical wisdom that Nick and Albert employed to make this song what it is, and my hope is at the end of this video you will see that Reptilia is even cooler than you thought it was, and we're going to get into it. But first, I would like to take just a moment to thank the following Reptilians for signing up for the Patreon supporter of the Cause Club. Sean, Bradley Real, Harvey Norton, Steve, and Stuart. Thank you very, very, very much for your support. Which hand? <laughs> and if you would like to find out what that's all about, the link will be in the description. So two things happened to me yesterday. One, it was 91 degrees. Two, I found a giant tick on my neck. <laughs> Goodbye hair. Listen, the first thing that happens is going to lull you into a false sense of security because the chords are just two. There's two chords. It's B minor when the song kicks in, right? And you're just gonna thrash away. <laughs> And E major, the one with the pointer finger. Now, those two chords only exist in one key together, and that is the key of A, a chord we're not even going to touch in this part. The chords in the key of A are A, B minor, C sharp minor, D, E, and F sharp minor. Keep that in mind put a pin in that. Then there's the riff. It's only three notes. Well, three notes per chord here. So over the B minor chord, it's going to be the B string third fret, the G string fourth fret, and the G string second fret. Over the E chord, it's going to change to the G string first fret, up to that same G string fourth fret, and up to that same B string third fret. That's the riff. Interesting to note is the relationship that those notes have with the chords that they're being played over. So, for instance, on the B minor chord, we're starting with that D note that is a piece of the B minor chord. It's the minor third, down to B, the root of the B minor chord, and then curiously down to A, which is the note that makes B minor seven, B minor seven. So we've got minor third, root, minor seven, over the B minor chord. Upon the E chord, we are placing a G sharp note that is, again, a piece of our E chord. That's now the major third, so it's kind of the same piece of the chord. How neat. Up to B, same B, different piece of the chord. It's the fifth now. Anyways, up to D, which is the note that makes E7, E7. So that's the string that ties those together, beginning on the major or minor third and ending up on the minor or flat seven, depending on if we're on the minor B chord or the major E chord. How cool. And I don't mean to belabor the point, but this is one of the things that makes music delicious to me. What you're hearing is 3 3 3 B 7 3 3 3 B 7 3 3 3 B 7 3 3 3 B 7 Amazing. And that takes you quite a ways through the song until we get to this part, right? And I want to introduce to you a kind of chord here. Now, we all know power chords. Power chords, if we do like, say, an A, that is an A root and an E fifth. Power chords don't have a third in them, so they are neither major nor minor. A root five. And the cousin to a root five would be a root three chord, which is what we're dealing with here. In the case of A, it would be A and C sharp on the G string sixth fret. Now, this little shape can be major or minor. This would be like an A major, and this would be like an A minor with a flat third. Keep that in mind. Because we want to make sense of these chords. We don't want to be just memorizing strings and frets. There's not much meaning there, and it's difficult to remember. But if we identify these as their root, for instance, the 14th fret of the A string is B, which I know because the second fret of the A string is B, and 12 is the same as 0, so 14 is the same as 2, B, and it's minor. So it's B and D. This is our shape. A14, B15. When I do this, I'm muting with my pointer finger everything but the A and B string so I can strum away, not at all like a ninny. 
<laughs> That's debatable. Then we're down to the ninth and tenth frets. This would be a C, D, E, F sharp minor chord. <laughs> Up to frets 10 and 12, this would be our G major chord. This is our major shape. And then up to 12, 14, this would be our A major. So we got B minor, so to say, F sharp minor, G major, and A major, and here's our pattern. B, F sharp, G, A, G, a, F sharp, B. And we need to execute the classic strum, 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 slide, strum, strum, slide, strum, strum, slide, strum. Because when we strum, 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 slide, strum, the slide, the arrival at the next chord, takes the place of one of the strum. So it's going to be strum, 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 slide, strum. Astute. Do you remember when we talked about the chords in the key of A, A, B minor, C sharp minor, D, E, and F sharp minor? And now we were just talking about the chords of this section, which were B minor, that's okay compared to our key of A, F sharp minor, also okay compared to our key of A, A obviously is, but G is not, we have a key change. We have a key change into the key of D, or B minor, let's call it D, they're relatives. The chords in the key of D are D, E minor, F sharp minor, G, A, and B. B minor. In fact, the keys of D and A are so similar that their scales have only one note different. The A scale, the one we were talking about previously, is A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, and A. The D scale is D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. So the only difference between the D major scale and the A major scale is the G versus the G sharp. Keep that in mind. Oh no, are you ready for the fast part? This is awesome. This is one of the reasons why I'm a Strokes fan. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the E string. We're going to make little chords here, but we want to play all the notes separately. So E10, G11, B10, E10. And then it's going to be E9, G11, B10 slide up to 12. And then it's B10 thrice more, followed by E10. We're going to take these in chunks of three. That was three chunks, and then we'll put them all together. In chunks four, five, and six, you're going to recognize this little shape that's kind of going to stay the same and move around. It's G12, B12, and E10. That's a little A shape is the way I think of it. And two frets higher. But we're going to start on the B string 12th fret and do a grace note slide. A grace note is a note that barely happens. Up to 14, G14, E12, B14. That is chunk number four. Now we're going to do a non-grace note slide from 14 to 12, then G12, B12, E10. And together. And the final chunk is the same as the first chunk we just discussed. So. And I lied to you, there's only one chunk left. It's, this is my favorite one. It's going to be G, 11, 12, 11, E, 9, 10, B, 12, G, 11. You're going to recognize a little D minor shape there, followed by one more E9 before you repeat the whole thing frenetically. So it's going to be... And so on. Now let's put them all together. Oh boy. Cool. 
Then we come to the little crab walky part. Now this is gonna start on the B string, ninth fret, and it's gonna be B9, B7, G9, and then we're gonna double back to B7 and make it from here to G7. So, and then we're gonna double back again, or single back rather, to the G9, to the G6. So, And then seven, six, B seven. And that's our first thing. And the second thing is the same as the first thing, but instead of the B seven, we're gonna end on the D nine. The third thing is the same as the first thing. And the fourth thing is a slightly truncated second thing. So we're going to make it down to the G6 and then we're going to proceed immediately to the D9 and that gives him time to go into the next fast thing. So did you notice what note that whole thing started on? It was the B string ninth fret, right? Which was B, B flat, A, G sharp. We are back into the key of A. And that note sure sounded interesting, didn't it? He was using a scale here, the A scale, like we talked about, but he's thinking about it from B to B, which has a fancy name. It's called the B Dorian scale, the second mode of the key of A, the A major scale from number two B to number two B. And here's how you play it. Starting on the E string, seven, nine, 10, looks a lot like B minor right now. Seven, nine to the D string, Six, seven, nine. If we want to do another octave, I like to repeat that root. So we'll start on D9, G, six, seven, nine, B, seven, nine. There's the G sharp that we started on. Ten, seven on the E string. So here it is. I mean, if you just play from G-sharp down to B, that's that part. There's only one more part to learn, and it does not disappoint. You're going to recognize it. Grab the B string 10th fret, give it a bend up a whole step so that it sounds like the 12th fret. Then reach for the B note on the E string 7th fret. Back to B10, I'm going to slide down to 9, pull off to 7, and then G9, followed by B7, G7, and that is the first chunk from this section. The second chunk from this section is almost the same. You're going to start on E10, though, and just play E10, E9, followed by the same move we just talked about. Chunk number three is very similar to chunks one and two, but it's a string higher. Grab the E string 12th fret, give it a big bend, and then we're gonna do the move, the 10, nine, pull off to seven on the E string, then down to B10, back up to E7, and landing on that G sharp note again on the B string ninth fret. For chunk three. And the final chunk starts just the way that one did, with the bend, the move, but then we're going to start bent on the B string 9th fret and we're going to unbend it before you go back into and so on. If I was king of the universe, reptilia would be required learning, but those are all the pieces, so go use your earballs and figure out which one goes where when, or if you would find such a thing helpful, on my Patreon page you will find a playthrough, so check that out. Thank you so much for being here, I hope that was fun and helpful, and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.